Imagine being able to save $10,000 in just one year. It might sound impossible at first, especially with the rising cost of living. But what if I told you that by making a few smart, simple changes to how you spend money, it could actually happen? This is where frugal living comes in. Frugal living is about being mindful of your spending, cutting out unnecessary expenses, and finding ways to save without completely sacrificing the things you enjoy. In 2025, with prices for everything from groceries to housing on the rise, living frugally could be the key to reaching your savings goals. But the big question remains, can frugal living really help you save $10,000 in a year? Let's dive into the world of frugality and find out if it's truly possible. Number one, what is frugal living? Frugal living means making smart choices about how you spend money so you can save more. It's not about being cheap or never spending at all. Instead, it's about cutting down on things you don't really need and finding ways to spend less on the things you do. For example, instead of buying lunch every day, you could pack a meal from home. Or, instead of buying brand new clothes, you might shop at thrift stores or wait for sales. Frugal living is about getting the most value for your money. This might mean using coupons, finding cheaper alternatives, or repairing things instead of buying new ones. It's all about making careful decisions that help you save in the long run. Living frugally doesn't mean you can't enjoy life. It just means thinking more about how you spend and making sure your money is going to the right places, like savings or important expenses, instead of things you don't really need. Number two, the cost of living in 2025. The cost of living is going up every year, and by 2025, things like rent, groceries, and utilities will likely be even more expensive than they are now. Inflation, which is the rise in prices over time, makes everyday items cost more. For example, the price of food, gas, and housing keeps increasing, making it harder for people to save money. In 2025, it may feel like saving is more challenging because of these rising costs. But that's exactly why frugal living becomes even more important. By learning how to cut down on unnecessary expenses, you can find ways to save even when prices are high. Frugal living helps you focus on the things that matter and avoid spending on things you don't really need. Even though the cost of living is rising, frugal habits can help you keep control of your finances and make saving money possible. Number three, practical frugal strategies to save $10,000. Saving $10,000 in a year might sound like a big goal, but with the right strategies, it's achievable. Here are some practical ways to live frugally and reach that savings target. One, create a budget. Start by making a simple budget. Write down your income and your monthly expenses, including rent, bills, groceries, and entertainment. Then see where you can cut back. For example, can you spend less on eating out or entertainment? A clear budget helps you see where your money goes and how much you can save each month. 2. Cut housing costs. Housing is often the biggest expense. If possible, think about downsizing to a smaller place or moving to a cheaper area. If you rent, you could consider getting a roommate to share the cost. These changes can save hundreds of dollars a month, adding up to big savings by the end of the year. 3. Save on food. One easy way to save money is by cooking at home instead of eating out. Meal planning can also help. When you plan your meals for the week and buy groceries in bulk, you avoid wasting food and save money. You can also look for sales and use coupons to get discounts on groceries. Four, reduce transportation costs. Owning a car is expensive. Between gas, insurance, and maintenance, it can cost a lot every month. If you can, try using public transportation, biking, or walking. If you need a car, carpooling with others can save money on fuel. Cutting down on driving can lead to big savings. Five, avoid impulse buying. It's easy to spend money on things we don't need, especially online. Try to wait 24 to 48 hours before buying something that's not essential. This helps you avoid impulse buys and only spend on what's truly necessary. Six, buy secondhand and DIY. Instead of buying new clothes, furniture, or gadgets, consider buying used items or fixing what you have. Thrift stores, garage sales, and online marketplaces often have great deals. You can also save money by doing simple repairs or DIY projects around the house. These strategies can help you save little by little, adding up to $10,000 over the course of a year. Meet Sarah, 
A 28-year-old teacher wanted to save for a down payment on a house. She started by cutting down her spending on eating out and made coffee at home instead of buying it every day. Sarah also switched to public transportation, saving money on gas and parking. By tracking her spending carefully and following a strict budget, Sarah managed to save over $10,000 in one year. Number 4. Potential Challenges Living frugally can save a lot of money, but it's not always easy. One of the biggest challenges is the temptation to spend on things we don't really need. Advertisements, social media, and peer pressure can make it hard to stick to a frugal lifestyle, especially when friends or family are spending money on dining out, vacations, or new gadgets. Another challenge is staying motivated. Saving money often means making small, everyday sacrifices, and it can take time to see results. It's easy to feel discouraged if the savings don't add up quickly, and some people may give up if they don't have clear goals or support. There's also the pressure of balancing frugal living with enjoying life. It's important to find a balance between saving money and still doing things you enjoy. Living too strictly can lead to burnout, making it hard to stick to your plan. To overcome these challenges, try setting small, realistic goals and celebrating progress along the way. You can also surround yourself with supportive people who understand your savings goals. Remember, frugal living doesn't mean giving up everything you enjoy. It's about finding a way to live well while saving money. Number five, how to get started with frugal living in 2025. Getting started with frugal living in 2025 is easier than you think. Here's a simple guide to help you begin. Check your spending. First, take a look at where your money goes each month. Write down your income and all your expenses, from bills to coffee runs. Find areas to cut back. Look for things you don't need or can reduce, like eating out less, cutting and use subscriptions, or finding cheaper alternatives for groceries and entertainment. Set a savings goal. Decide how much you want to save, like $10,000 in a year, and break it down into monthly or weekly goals. This makes it easier to track your progress. Start small. Begin by making one or two changes, such as meal planning or taking public transport. As you see savings add up, make more changes. With these steps, you can start living frugally and work toward your savings goals in 2025. Yes, it's definitely possible to save $10,000 in 2025 by living frugally. While the cost of living may be rising, small, smart changes to your spending can lead to big savings over time. Frugal living doesn't mean giving up everything you enjoy. It's about being mindful of your choices and focusing on what really matters. Anyone can save a significant amount of money. It might take patience and discipline, but the reward of financial security is worth it. Start small, stick to your plan, and watch your savings grow. Frugal living can definitely help you reach $10,000 and beyond. Now, if you want to learn how to achieve financial success, then watch this video next. If you made it to this point in the video, please like and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.